properly insulated basement can help you save energy and money while also providing a dry, comfortable living space. Owens Corning Fomular Project Wall Panels are an easy to install and efficient solution for insulating basement walls to help you achieve comfort and cost savings. Before installing Fomular in your basement, you need to make sure the basement is dry with no leaks from the walls or floors and check your local building codes to figure out the minimum construction requirements in your municipality. Project wall panels should be installed prior to any electrical or plumbing being added. You should also ensure that the framing cavities and surfaces where Fumular project wall panels are going to be installed are dry and free of any construction debris. Think about safety too. Make sure you have the right personal protective equipment, such as safety glasses, work gloves, and a dust mask if using a power saw for cutting. Fumular project wall panels are easy to handle and simple to install. You will need a tape measure, utility knife, straight edge, and canned one-part polyurethane spray foam. You may also want a portable work light, power saw, and an elevated table or bench. Project wall panels are designed to fit the width of standard 16-inch on-center or 24-inch on-center framing. For non-standard cavity widths, project wall panels will need to be cut to a quarter inch smaller than the width of the cavity. Canned one-part polyurethane spray foam, like Comfort Seal canned spray foam from Owens Corning or Great Stuff window and door, is needed to adhere the project panel in place as well as air seal the cavity. Follow the spray foam manufacturer's instructions for safety, use, care, and storage. There are several ways to cut foamular, but the most common option is scoring and snapping. Start by measuring where the cut will be. Use a straight edge or chalk line to mark the cut. Then score the board by using a utility knife. Allow the knife to do the work and simply drag it along your measured cut line. After the board is scored, snap the board using a sawhorse or table. You can also use a power saw to cut through the boards. Okay, first, measure the cavity width. If less than 14 and a half inches for 16 inch on center framing, or less than 22 and a half inches for 24 inch on center framing, cut the board to a quarter inch less than the width of the cavity. Now, measure the height of the cavity to determine the number of boards needed and any cuts that will be needed to fill the cavity. Then, score and snap the boards as needed to fill the cavity. Using canned spray foam, spray a small bead around the entire perimeter of the cavity. Quickly place each necessary project panel into the cavity while pushing it tightly into the foam. Wiggle or move the board in the foam and then move on to the next board. Then, install each individual cavity at a time before moving on to the next one. And if you have any gaps, fill with additional foam. If multiple boards are used in a cavity, place a bead of foam at the butt joint of each board. Remember, boards should be held for 15 to 30 seconds to ensure adhesion. Finally, attach drywall to the framing to complete the wall. And there you go. For decades, contractors and homeowners have found Fomular extruded polystyrene insulation to be the perfect choice for a multitude of applications. Visit owenscorning.com for more information.